have just one more semi-final to come. It's the second of the men's singles and it features the former winner and two-time finalist Anna Zantensen going for a third consecutive final here at the Indonesian Masters up against the former world number one and beaten finalist in 2015, Kidambi Shrikanth. Well, when we look at the men's singles draw from quarterfinal stage, we can see that there was two Danes and two players from India. So it's very fitting that our last match on semi-finals day is a Dane against an Indian player. Anas Antonsen against Kidambi Shrikanth uh, to battle for who will play against Kento Momota, the reigning and two-time world champion in tomorrow's final. Momota having beaten Chotian Chen of Chinese Taipei in the first of the semi-finals in a match lasting 46 minutes. But it is of huge concern, and I'm going to ask Morton about it a little more in a minute, that no Indonesian players at quarter-final stage, first time ever that that's been the case at the Indonesian Masters, and I wouldn't mind betting that that's the case at the Indonesian Open as well. Always been at least one player from Indonesia in the men's singles discipline at quarterfinal stage. But we'll check the record book for that and get back to you tomorrow on that one. So here is Anas Antonsen, winner of the title two years ago, beat Kenta Momota in a thrilling final. And it was really the the start of the world paying attention to Anna Zantensen. He actually won the title here two years ago when he was ranked 20 in the world. Here's his opponent, Kidambi Shrikanth, former world number one, beaten in the final of the Indonesian Masters when it was a Grand Prix gold event. Six years ago, he lost to Tommy Sugiyato in the final, having had two match point opportunities those six years ago. So this is the fourth meeting between these two players and as you can see Anna Zantensen has won two of the previous three. In fact it was the last two that he won. Last time they met was in the group stage of the World Tour Finals that were played in January earlier this year, the 2020 World Tour Finals. It was three games, 21-18 in the deciding game, an hour and 17 minutes. And as Antonsen won on that occasion. But I think that there were signs in Europe that Kadami Shrikanth was regaining his uh, form that he had taken him to four Super Series titles. But there's been no doubting the form of this man in recent years. Anna Zantensen, the silver medalist at the last World Championships, which was in Basel in 2019. 24 years of age now. And just look at that. All of his matches in straight games. In the second round against teammate Vitinghus, he was 9-15 down. He promptly won eight straight points to go 17-15 up. Then in the quarterfinal, he beat Widisan, the three-time world junior champion. 21-11, 21-17. So here is the former world number one, the 28-year-old from Ravu Lapelum. And currently 15 in the world, making his fourth appearance here at this particular event. And he is currently five on the race to the World Tour Finals to be played in two weeks' time here in Bali. In the first round, he played against the left-handed uh, uh, Popov, who had been promoted from the reserve list, replacing Samir Verma. Then in the second round, he beat the number six seed, the Asian Games gold medalist, Jonathan Christie. Three games there as well, as in the opening match. The quarterfinal, he beat his teammate Pranoy, who in the second round had beaten the reigning Olympic champion and number two seed, Victor Axelson. That quarter-final, 21-7, 21-18. Ready to so play. So, Roberto Stomi Oscariano of Indonesia are uh, umpire for this one. And Johari Latif 
also from Indonesia, the service judge. So just quickly, Morton, before we check the record books uh, at the end of play today, can you ever remember a tournament in Indonesia, Indonesian Open, going back to our day, where that didn't have a home player in the men's singles quarterfinal stage? No, no, I can't. I can't. Especially playing Indonesia, Indonesia Open. Mm. Had so many good players at the time. Yeah. During the 80s, the 90s. Yeah. And then, of course, Taufik. Uh, yeah. So, uh, no, I can't really, I can't no. remember. No, but we'll check. And I think we it's probably check. the first time that there's been, a, you know, a Super Series Grand Prix Gold or World Tour event in yeah. Indonesia where a home player has not reached the uh, men's Indonesia singles quarter. was extremely strong in the 90s. Yeah. They had many, many Ladies and gentlemen, singles players. On my right. Anders Antonsen, Jane Mark. And on my left, Kidambi Srikant, India. Kidambi Srikant to serve. Love all. Play. So it is the unseeded Kidambi Srikant who gets this last semi final underway against the number three seed, Anders Antonsen. One, look. Yep. And the funny thing is that uh, Srikant Gidambi actually won the toss, chose to serve, and in no hesitation, Antonsen said, I'm choosing this end. Yeah. And it's exactly like yesterday. He liked to have the fast end first. That will make his attack count a little bit more. Two. Look. No. Service over. One, two. Do you have any sort of preconceived ideas about how this will go tactically? Yeah, I have. <laughs> I, I think Antonsen will attack, especially in this opening game. He wants yeah. to secure Service the opening over. game, as what we discussed yesterday yeah. as well. He wants to get One. that opening game, um, give him more options to manoeuvre when they're coming to the second and the third, possible third game. Um, I think his basic game was pro and defence will probably be a little bit too strong for Kidambi. Kidambi have to go all out attack and it's going to be tough for him to get through the defence of Antonsen in off times. He will of course get some really good ones but will he get enough? So, Service uh, over. so I actually think Two. Antonsen Three. is quite a big favourite in this match, according okay. to how I see it. You don't think that perhaps Kidambi, who we know is a naturally attacking player, yes. might actually change his tactics and say, I really want to work Antonsen? Or do you think that's going to be too difficult from that far side of the court in the opening game? Uh, no, I, I think he can definitely work Antonsen in the opening game here because he's playing against the drift, so he, he can really oh. do it. Um, I just, however, think it's not in his DNA to do it. Okay. Because we were very surprised when Antonsen was playing his quarterfinal against Widesan that Widesan hardly used the back of the court in the yes. opening game. I agree. And I also completely agree with you, Jill, that uh, we have de we're definitely seeing an informed Kadampi. Yes. Service over. Relatively speaking. Four. Yeah. Three. Yeah, because uh, the poor man's been struggling for a while, hasn't Ooh. he? A while is an understatement. Yeah.
last final he was in at this level of tournament was back in 2017 when he won the French Open. Yeah. A week after winning the Denmark Open. And I don't mean any disrespect to, no, 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 to no. the oh. Indian Open when he was in the final in 2019 and he lost to Axelsson. But that was a super 500. That was a 500 event. Yeah. We're at a 750 here. But he's played well at the net. Oh, just Seven saying it and then he's missing it. Mm. Five, but uh, four. Shrikant Kalambi has really played quite well at the net. And uh, that's interesting because I think Antonsen really like to set himself up at the net. So we will have a battle at the front of the court. Service over, 5-0. Oh. Oh, that's brilliant. Wow. What yeah. an angle. And Service over. Hit behind six. his body almost. Right. Yeah. Change. Yeah, it had the shuttle had gone past him. Yeah. You coaches are always telling us players, <laughs> you know. Have to hit in front of you. Yeah. Variation on the attack Seven. there from Antonsen. Going for the body attack. It's really super Eight. placement, isn't it? That wasn't wow. full power. It was all about placement. It was. Now she can really have to get one or two points now. Yeah, that's a good attack on the serve. Mm. Service yeah. over. Excellent attack. Six. Eight. He's challenging this. Challenges call out. I think that's a risky challenge. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I think it's out. And I think Anas knows, but he was just he sort of instantly. He sort of thought, mm. okay, I'm going to do this one. Instinctly. Oh, no. He was right. Correction. He was right. Yeah. Wow. We're looking from his body language, Sounds I'm telling you, he was definitely nine, not sure. Six. Yeah, he's a little bit surprised. Play. Oh, yes. Ten, six. 
11, so to the big game interval the with a five point advantage and as Antonsen flick serve forcing an error Oh, they might get into trouble for not getting his mask on properly. And I think this is 12, six. perhaps <coughs> a sign of the one of the problems for Kidambi because you said to me, okay, will he be able to run Antonsen? Mm. And I don't think his basic game is strong enough to run Antonsen. Even though he's playing the slow end, it's not in his DNA, as I say. I, th yeah. I, I really feel he's, he's such a natural attacking player and uh, he will be able to play one or two shots like this uh, but otherwise it will be coming down he will always play shots downwards yeah and this is what he's so good at service over 7 12 I think if Kidambi was trying to run Antonsen, I think he would make too many mistakes on the way. Well, it's well taken. Yeah. Once Eight. again, we see this real fight well. and battle at the front of the court at the net. It's interesting, though, Morton, we've just seen, and uh, not that last rally, but the previous rally to that, longest rally, 24 shots, which is nothing really, is yeah. it? You know, and, oh, that's a super that's smash. That's really I remember you saying yesterday in Antonsen's quarterfinal, you know, it won the opening game in double quick time. And, you know, we got to the mid-game interval there was eight minutes played so again we've had no long rallies yes it's all happened in double quick time so again like the quarter-final I suppose Antonsen is just not allowing long nope. rallies to happen no nope. he's he's really really trying to focus on on yeah speed and power and it's Anderson challenges another challenge up. from Antonsen on that back line mm. yeah and I'm keeping my <laughs> shot <laughs> I'm not saying anything yeah let's see no, this time line judge challenge was correct successful one challenge remaining 10 12 Kadambi has been successful when he's attacking the forehand side of Antonsen. Play. So let's see if he will continue to do so. Eleven, twelve, change. Well. Another net exchange. Antonsen? Yeah. Are you okay? Apologizes for hitting Antonsen. And he did well there, Kidambi. This is a run of five straight points. Oh, 
Yeah, good control on that from Antonsen. Service and over 13, 11. Wipe the court, please. Thank you. On court. Thirteen, eleven. That's a perfect, perfect head shot. 14, Took it early, 11. gave it a bit of a height, so it came down very close to the net. Yes, yeah, as, as soon as Srikant is, is not getting on top of it, he's lost it. Mm. Even got the net cord. Yeah, really well played, as you said. Oh, left. That's wide. 15, 11. Missed it. Service over, 12, 15. Yep. Clearly wide. Emphasizing your point there. 12. Antonson to the net first. <laughs> Good Service anticipation from Kadambi. 13, 16. Saw that one coming. Good attack down the line. Change. Play. And I think this gap is good enough for Antonsen. Between 17-13 and 14-16. Yeah, two or four points. That's oh, wide. The string's gone, I think. Oh, no, it hasn't. No. Service over 14-17. Over 18, 14. Uh, 
really taking that backhand too late. <laughs> yeah, he was under a lot of pressure. That's 19, too many errors in these last few rallies. Well, yeah. It's at least two smashing errors, isn't it? Yeah. Every time Kadamba is trying to hit the body, he's not scoring. Antonsen has got every single one of them back. He's had one or two attacks to the backhand side, it's been winners. He's had some on this forehand side. This is this best chance. It's going out, but that one is actually his best chance. The straight one, you mean? The straight Tim one down the line. But he's he's going too close. What, either to the top of the tape, you know, want to play too mm. steep, or going too close to the lines. And it's a, it's a little bit of sign of desperation, not really trusting that he can perhaps build another chance. Yeah, good point. So it's Thank you. six game point opportunities for Anna Zantonsen. 20, game point 14. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Tried the reverse slice First and another error from Kidambi Shrikant, gifting the opening game 21 14 to the former champion, Anna Zantonsen. Opening game, just about 20 minutes. If you same condition, same thing to hit to score, okay, no mistake. So the umpire calling 20 seconds remaining, so the players know that that's the moment to return to court. The coaches depart. Have you noticed that Kidambi is having game. a little bit of a, a ritual Love when all. he's leaving the court and coming back into court? Play. I have. Yeah. He touches his racket to the ground. Yeah, on the two lines. Yes. And kisses the frame. Yeah. <laughs> I see that. Oh, good placement of the attack. One look. He's not the only Indian player to do that. No, I, I can't remember who. Sai Pranith. Sai doing it. Okay. was the Seven straight over, smash, Morton. One yeah. oh. and it talked about. Yeah, and is definitely opening up the defence on Antonsen. And 
it's a wonderful follow up from Kidambi. And so much to serve that point. Oh, it's way in. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a marlin in badminton Two. terms. One. Just wide. Yeah. But that's Serves the first one he's winning on the body. Two. Oh. I was waiting at the net time, Thompson. Service over. Three. I, I would say it's it's the only shot you should not play is that straight drop shot from that situation. From the it deep backhand. Yeah. Anything else? Everyone is waiting for that straight one. Yeah. So that's no big surprise. Kadambi <laughs> was asking Anas in or out. Anas said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lone Judge was right. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Four, two. Came off the frame, that uh, backhand kill. Service over. Down me. Three, four. Once again, set up around an attack to the forehand side, as Antonsen so very often have to die for these shots. And I th don't think he's adverse to the diving because every time he dives, the court has to be mopped. <laughs> And it takes time to mop the court. Yeah, it's even though the temperature is, is low in, in the hall, it's quite humid. Yeah. Yeah, well taken. Four. Service over five four change. Oh. 
comes wide. Wipe the court, please. Six pulls. Seven. Yeah, I think you made a comment in the opening game, Morton, and I think that error from uh, Kadambi there was another example of he appears to be thinking he's got to play the winner yes. instead of, you know, he, he's going for just too tight for everything. It There's another. That's another one there. Another. And, and the thing Eight. is that uh, perhaps not this one, I think that was, that was a fair shot trying to go for that one but the other one had actually dropped below the tape however he's still trying to play an attacking shot on it and of course the net is in its in the way yeah it, it's bound to be a mistake yeah so yes he's, he's pushing it a little bit too hard Kadambi really have to watch out now. Yeah. He could easily become 11 4. And then I think there's no way back. Mm. And more importantly, Ten. the fact that it's six straight four. points from a 4 all. Well judged. Yeah. Yep, you're right, Morton. 11 it's 11 4, four in the at the mid game interval. And a run of seven straight points for Antonsen. And I think now very, very difficult for Kadambi Shrikanth. Watches it, watches it, and it was just a fraction wide. And the high has assist on the well, it will be quite extraordinary if he closes this out. Antonsen, three consecutive finals at one particular tournament for a European player. Not easily achieved, but as we were talking yesterday, was achieved by Jano Jorgensen at the Indonesian Open, and it's been achieved by Victor Axelsen the Indian Open and at the Super Series Finals. And of course, Axelson's done it at the All England, but I'm thinking specifically Asia. A, a, in Asia. Yeah. 11, four. Did you ever do that? Three finals in three consecutive years at the same tournament? I don't think so. Play. No. We didn't have aircon in our day, should be mentioned though. No, we didn't. I think I've been in the final of Indonesia Open twice, perhaps in a row. I'm not sure. The uh, the well, well, we had four. the Grand Prix finals. Yeah. Uh, as to the World Tour finals. World Tour finals. Now, I was in the final in Jakarta in '83 and in Kuala Lumpur in '84. Mm. I know. As far as I remember. Service over five twelve. Well, finally, the run comes to an end, but those eight straight points, I think, have 
made things very, very difficult for Gnabry. He's challenging that, and I think he'll lose that challenge. He will lose it. And then he'll have no challenges left. It's going for broke. Yeah. Yep, no challenges remaining for Kadambi Shrikant. Challenge unsuccessful, no challenges remaining. Service over, 13-5. Play. Service over. Well, got help by the deflection 30. of the neck cord. Thank you. Yeah, a little smile at the end of the rally. And he would have felt the pace of that because that's the longest rally so far. on the but forehand the side of Kidambi on the body has worked every single time. It has, hasn't it? Thank you. Ten of the last 12 points. Service over seven fifteen. Good follow up. Service over sixteen seven. And that's the only shot he's going for. Any other shot, I don't think Antonson would get it. Mm. Over cost yep. him dear. Eight sixteen. Nine sixteen. I'm having a little flashback to Victor Axelson against Pranoy 
mm. when Axelson was a game and 14 eight, eight up. 14 eight up, yep. yes. Well, this has been a bigger margin for uh, Axelson. It's not going to happen. No. Service over 17, nine. Reverse slice. 18. Halfway down Nine. the net. Yeah, he's played it on a few occasions and uh, it's only worked once. points needed no. to book his place in a third consecutive final here at the Indonesia Masters and I'm actually really looking forward for tomorrow I think we have some great finals so do I Point opportunities. Nine. A whole host of them for the former champion, Antonsen. landed Game. in and that's it two straight games 21 14 21 9 a match lasting 41 minutes and that's very very interesting that final lift from Antonsen he had a look of anguish on his face he thought he had hit it long without an indication of how much drift there is so Anna's Antonsen, the former champion, remarkably through to a third consecutive final here at the Indonesia Masters. Well, sets up her final against the reigning world champion, Kento Momota. And of course it was against Kento Momota that Antonsen won this title two years ago. Their confirmation of the scoreline 21-14, 21-9, and he's booked his place in the final. Well, it's been lovely to see Kadambu Shrikanth show us some of the form this week that we have seen in the past that took him to Super Series titles and world number one status, but he wasn't able to replicate that here today due in large part to not being allowed to replicate it by the good play, tactical play of Anna's Antonsen. So that concludes semi-finals day, which all started at 12 o'clock with an excellent X doubles, a repeat of the Olympic bronze medal match. And in contrast to Tokyo, the winners here in Bali were the pair from Hong Kong, China, Tang Chung Man and Si Ying Siwit coming through in three games, an hour and 16 minutes, that one. Then it was the first of the women's singles and Akane Yamaguchi uh, beat the reigning world champion, Pusana Venkata Sindhu. So uh, Yamaguchi through to a third final in three tournaments played after two wins in Europe. Then it was men's doubles and it was the Olympic bronze medalists against the World Championship silver medalists. And it was the Japanese pair, the World Championship silver medalists, that came through in three games, Hoki and Kobayashi. Then it was the second of the women's singles and the beaten finalists from the recent Denmark Open, Anne Sae-young, uh, was too good for Chaiwan 
who was in her first semi-final at a World Tour Super 500 or above tournament. So a big occasion for her, but beaten in two straight games. Then it was the first of the men's doubles and three-time defending champions, Gideon and Sukumolio, uh, coming through against Ong and Teo in three games, just two minutes shy of the hour mark, that one. Then it was the first of the men's singles and Kento Momota, the world number one, and the beaten finalist from two years ago, a too good for Cho Tian Chen, who today was in his second semi-final here, three years after his first appearance at the semi-final stage. Then there was an excellent women's doubles with the number four seeds, Matsuyama and Shida, coming through against Super Jira-kun and Teira Tanachai, the Thai pair who had beaten the Olympic champions yesterday. An hour and 19 minutes for their victory, 21-18 in the deciding game. And as we've just seen, Anna's Antonsen in the second end single semi-final, beating the former world number one, Kidambi Shrikant, to set up a repeat of the 2019 final at the Indonesian Masters, which the Dane won. So finals tomorrow, so much to look forward to. It's one hour later than today, 1 p.m. local time, 0500 GMT. In the meantime, from Morton Frost and myself, Jill Clark, bye for now.